Republicans will take control of the House in January after winning the midterms by a narrow majority. Until then, though, we have to get through the lame duck session, which is a period between an election and the start of a new Congress. Here to discuss what that could mean for all of us as taxpayers is Brandon Arnold, Executive Vice President at the National Taxpayers Union. Brandon, welcome back to the National Desk this morning. Hey, good morning. So as far as lame duck sessions go, this one could get expensive, it sounds like. There's still a spending package that needs to be passed. What is in it and how much are we talking here? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this could be the most expensive lame duck session of Congress ever. We do have the spending package. That is the one must do thing Congress has to tackle because government spending is going to expire in about three weeks. They are going to plus that up. They're going to add spending to that package to the tune of over $100 billion when you factor in the additional emergency spending that we're going to get for the hurricanes, for COVID, for Ukraine. So we're going to be adding to spending just on that. Then there is the possibility of a major tax package. We could be talking about hundreds of billions of dollars more, a defense authorization package, some higher health care spending. When all is said and done, we could be adding more than $5 trillion Oof. to the nation's credit card in this lame duck period alone. And that sounds like a big number. What impact would this have on inflation? Do we know? And, and what's the bottom line for Americans here? Yeah, I mean, that's the most concerning thing. Obviously, uh, the spending in this country has been out of control. Congress has been spending like drunken sailors, particularly over the last couple of years, primarily due to the COVID emergency, but it's expanded beyond that. And we know that this this uh, additional spending has put uh, fuel on the gas, fuel on the fire when it comes to inflation. It has driven inflation through the roof. So right now, as Americans are preparing for Thanksgiving, they're paying more for their turkey, they're paying more for their stuffing, they're paying more for their airline ticket to get to their family or perhaps to get away from their family. <laughs> and that is all attributable in part to Congress, to Congress's inability and this president's inability to get a handle on our nation's finances. That has to change. I did some grocery shopping myself just yesterday and was a little surprised by what the tab came out to. Uh, let's talk about uh, compromise here. A little bit of a four-letter word, it seems, on Capitol Hill. But we have Republicans who will be controlling the House, Democrats in the Senate. Do you think we're going to see compromise going forward? And then how does that affect the uh, political landscape when it comes to government spending? Well, you know, here we are in the, in the holiday season, the outset of the holiday season. And I think now is a time for hope and optimism. Perhaps that's a bit of naivety on my own part. But you look back to 2011, after the uh, Obama's uh, first midterm election, where we saw uh, Republicans take control of the House, they passed a bill called the Budget Control Act. This was authored by House Republicans, signed into law by President Obama. So it was a bipartisan piece of legislation. It's far from perfect, but it did address trying to get our uh, our nation's finances under control, it put caps on budget spending. It, uh, it uh, put a balanced budget amendment up for a vote. It did have some very good features to it. So let's be hopeful that we can uh, achieve some sort of bipartisan consensus that our nation's finances need immediate attention from this Congress and this president. And there can be some sort of agreement to put these types of similar types of budget constraints in place. That new Congress begins here coming up on January 3rd. Brandon Arnold joining us live this morning. Brandon, so good to have you. Thanks for